Uh, this poem is called The Bucking Bronco. Last year, I shed the ideal of love like a snakeskin. I've always searched for a home to put my heart in, and I thought I knew what that box would look like. Would it not come in the form of a single human holding me close? Would it not sing so clearly as to not be missed? How many times does a snake shed its skin in its life? I linger in the ways of the past, but so many arrows point towards solitude, and I am not kind enough to the ones who want to share a room. I can be the dragon here. I can have my own fire and jewels within the core of this big mountain. I walk the trails humming without interruption. Yet the haunt of love still works its way into my heart when I think about building a wooden house, when I long to show the largest tree to someone, when I wish to be seen with eyes that know the depths of my untamed parts. Some moments I yearn for the cowboy who will deserve a ride, who will withstand my zealous bucking, who will fall madly and easily into my resistance. Very personal poem. Uh, the Good Life. If you could work all day without interruption, what would you do? I'd roll hay bales uphill to the garden gates and spread the blonde weave over bare winter beds. I'd sit at a drafting table on a screened porch with a dictionary, black pens, and reams of paper. I'd rebuild the trails, cut back the bays, and haul rocks up from the riverbed. I'd braid the garlic. I'd braid the children's hair. I'd sweep the floors, replenish the woodshed, burn the bramble pile, clip the mint. I'd read the books and finish the lyrics for the songs. I'd write a list of questions. I'd make up answers, symbols, and meanings. I'd dig the holes, I'd bake the bread and wipe the counters, light the lamps. I'd get the cat inside, close the windows, oil my hands, steep the tea, and check our beds for spiders. I'd soothe the dog while the coyotes start their nightly whining.